guess it just doesn't work in this version. That's a shame. Press start. What are you trying to do? There's a trick. Uh, it's at least in version 1.0. It must not be version 1.0. Where uh, if you side hop uh, uh, left and then right really quick right there, you can just like uh, respawn yourself. Because in the randomizer, if you go there and you don't have the song of time, well then you can't leave. You're just kind of soft locked. <laughs> so. Yeah, you'd just be kind of screwed at that point. So yeah, last time we did uh, a few things. This time we're going to do some more things. I, I think we'll probably start the Forest Temple today. I don't see why not. We'll go fast enough. Yeah, isn't this so much better than having to run around everywhere on foot? Wasting my bombs. I had to run around everywhere on foot. But now you don't, because you have a horse. Well, I'm basically just going to teleport wherever I need. Oh yeah, I guess you kind of have all the teleportation songs. Huh? I like uh, Majora's Mask's version of teleporting more than, uh, than this one, because Majora's Mask has uh, warp points instead of just like warp songs. Like multiple points in each area as opposed to just one. Every Zelda game just has teleporting, doesn't it? This game has it, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild. Skyward Sword, kind of. I don't know if you, I guess it's not really stealth, although you did it without hitting these guys, right? Yeah, because I didn't know I could. How did you, how did you even do that? You just like walked right behind them all the time? Kinda, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's a grapple hook. Why would I try to use it offensively? I guess you just can't hit him from the front.
Oh yeah, I also got past this guy. Oh. Oh, you fucked up bad. Oh God, you hit me farther than the last time. No, that's, uh, purple. the red ones are 20, the purples are 50. Yeah, that was purple. Oh, it was? Yeah. It looked red. I love how in, like, the terminal montage videos for this, he just, like, stabs her every time he shows. <laughs> He just shows up with like the power of friendship. <laughs> I do love all these scenes though where you like Sheik teaches you a new song. They're pretty good. Like just just hearing the duet between the two is like really nice. Mm -hmm. Like every time it happens. Never gets old. Now stab her. <laughs> also, the first time it happens, she like throws down a Deku nut to like as a distraction, but then you just see her corpse lying on the floor. <laughs> Was she actually dead this whole time? Game theory. Welcome to, I think this is my favorite dungeon in the game. Or one of, not my favorite, but definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, Terminal Montage is a really funny guy though. He is. <laughs> Just don't try and use his videos as a walkthrough. <laughs> I want to know if anyone's actually done that. Caden, I did. Remember? Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't know there was stuff up here. Ah, uh, you should have, because there was a key up here, so... And you have beaten this temple, so... Ah, oh, dang it, my lie failed. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure in the 3DS version, when you enter, it, like, pans around this room, and you can see the chest up there. Didn't know you could kill those guys, did you? Or kill them like that. Yeah, with the hookshot or bow, they die in one hit. That was just a boo sound effect. Is this the mini boss room? Kind of. You fight these guys a lot throughout this dungeon. Well, no, no, not this. The room after it. No, yeah. I know what you mean. This. on the other side. 
I found you can really just keep your shield up and just like kind of spam your sword at them and you'll get them, basically. Yeah, they're not that hard. Not to anyone competent. <clears throat> right, Caden? Yeah. It'll be funny if you forget about it. I probably will forget about it. <laughs> Alright, Ghostbuster, get going. Well, I hear a screech. There it is. Didn't what? know I was there. You gotta listen for the screechy screech. Anytime you do something I didn't know about or whatever, I'm just gonna be like, <sighs> like frustrated sigh. I didn't know that was there either. Yes, it did. You not lied to me. Or did you forget who I am? I still wish we could get, like, a Smash game that has an adventure mode that's a combination of Subspace Emissary and the adventure mode from Melee. That'd be pretty neat. Like, let's get a bunch of platforming levels from all the franchises uh, in this game. Or at least most of them. Yeah. Well, for like, for, like, Street Fighter and Tekken... And, uh, whatever Terry was from, I don't remember. Fatal Fury. Yeah, they would all just be fighting matches again. Oh yeah, and arms. <laughs> like, you can have a Mario level, a Pac-Man maze, a Sonic level, a Mega Man level, uh, a 2D Banjo-Kazooie level. <laughs> um, and again, you can have, like... Maybe more modern takes on, on what we, on, like, how, like, some, uh, you could have, like, an Emmy chase instead of escaping Brinstar for Metroid. You could, um, what could you do for Breath of the Wild? I don't know. <laughs> Something different than, you know, the dungeon that was in, uh, that was in Melee. What do you think, Hayden? Um. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, a, for Mario, I'm thinking, like, a 2D version of New Donk City as a level. That'd be a lot of fun. Maybe it could be a dungeon. It could be like High uh, Hyrule Castle, or the Yiga Clan Fortress. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. There's blood on these walls for no reason. That's paint. That is not paint. That is blood. No. Um, what else? What 
else can you do? Yeah, you can do a Kirby level. Yeah, that's one that wasn't in Melee. Yeah, you can do a Kirby level. Ba based off the... Like a 2D something from Forgotten Land. You could do the Donkey Kong... Uh, you know, the original arcade thing. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, maybe... I haven't really played any Donkey Kong Country games. I don't know if there's, like... Is there a really good, iconic level from those? Jungle Japes. Or... No, that's so Well, there are a lot of platformers in... For this, so I feel like instead of another Donkey Kong Country platforming level, I feel like the arcade thing would be a bit more fun. Like maybe you can just stack all the things on top of each other in one big level and you gotta go through like the whole Donkey Kong game. Yeah. It's like climbing a huge tower. Um. Final Fantasy. What? I've never played a Final Fantasy either. Like, what What could you do with that? I guess more specifically it would be Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, all the only reps for Final Fantasy are Cloud and Sephiroth, which are Final Fantasy 7. Mm -hmm. I know that much about Final Fantasy, but not much else. Let's see, I, I haven't finished Final Fantasy VII, but i played a good majority of it. Yeah, you've probably played enough to, like, have an idea. It could probably be from, like, the beginning of the game when you're taking down, like, this... Basically, this big power... It's called a Mako Reactor. It's, like, this big power station area. <laughs> I remember seeing you stream the remake a while back, and I was like, wow, wow, it's Scar. From the Lion King. <laughs> yeah, you do be looking like Scar from the Lion King. That's something they should do. Have a Lion King world in, like, the next Kingdom Hearts. And have Cloud meet Scar and just be like, Whoa, it, are you whatever that guy's name was? I don't Red know. Thir Red 13. Yeah, are you Red 13? Are you Red 14? Are you his brother? And Scar would just be like, what the hell are you talking about? There actually was uh, <laughs> a Lion King level in Kingdom Hearts 2 where you were a lion. And it's probably one of the not, it's probably one of the worst levels in the game. Oh yeah, you could do Bayonetta mission, you could do um... A Metal Gear Solid stealth section. That could be fun. There's so many franchises in Smash, it's hard to remember them all sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, what, could, what would you do for Minecraft? <laughs> Fight the Ender Dragon. Yeah, you can fight the Ender Dragon, that'd be mean. Die, bitch. Maybe fight on the Ender Dragon as it like flies around that arena. Hmm. And then like the end is like, oh, you also defeated the Ender Dragon during all this, and it crashed and died. <laughs> oh yeah, this room scared the crap out of me as a kid because this is where they introduced the the Wall Master. Oh yeah, that hand never caught me, like ever. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, the rooms are relatively short, but when you actually do start. Um, what is it? Um, 
get the painting man. I can't yet. I hate how he can just like float on that platform. So evil. Can you? No. I've never tried it, but it takes you like, or I think like right below this is the other room where you fought the, the other stealth hosts. Stealth by stealth people. Oh, that Ooh, that was a sick combo. I'm gonna do that again. It's not in Smash, but I did want like uh, a TF2 ref to be in Smash. So if they did that for this next hypothetical Smash game, like, the, the, the level would be pushing the payload cart. <laughs> Come on, hit me, bro. Oh yeah, and you could do a, king, a, a Kingdom Hearts level. It'd have to be an original level, because... Like a game that was, or a level that was created specifically for the game and not from any Disney movie. Like that big castle or whatever. Hollow Bastion, yeah, that would be a fun one. Or like one of the end levels. Alright, I think this is a good point to end the episode. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time where we probably talk more about Smash potential Smash story mode levels. Goodbye.